Hello gamers and welcome to my channel for another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video and I hope you're all having a good day today. So in this video what I'm going to be showing you guys is all 10 locations here in Los Santos that you can be potentially finding the metal detector that we can be taking over to K Perico while scoping it to go ahead and find buried stashes which is going to be giving us some cash and some RP. So what we're going to go ahead and do in this video is I'm going to be taking you guys to every single location that you can potentially find the metal detector so when we are scoping k perico we will be having an extra opportunity of making some extra money in the game by doing so all right guys so let's head to that first location right now all right so here we are we're going to be starting on the left or the west side of the map there's going to be 10 locations i'm going to be showing you guys and the best way to do this is with a mark to oppressor or some sort of flying vehicle if you go to these areas you guys should see a little blue dot pop open on your mini map if you guys do not see the little blue dot then just move on to the next location so there's location number two right here pretty easy to find this is actually where i found my metal detector or found my metal detector so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the area. And once again, all you have to do is just fly over these locations. You don't have to like hang out here or anything like that. All you're doing is just basically a little bit of a flyby with like a helicopter or something like that. And what you're looking for, once again, is a little blue circle to pop open on your mini map. And that will be the indication to let you know that there is going to be the metal detector in which you have found. Okay. So this is going to be pretty easy too, and I'll be talking about what happens if you guys go to all 10 of these spots and you don't end up finding it. So uh, this is location number four, right down here, next to the airport. So just be around in this area like in the sand. And like what I've said before, just fly over the area. If you don't see a little blue circle, then obviously, you know, it's not going to spawn there. And we're just going to head to the next location. All right, location number five is going to be right here. Here's another spot that I showed you guys. Uh, this was going to be the location that I showed you in the very beginning of the video. I found it like under here again, so it just spawned. And this will just randomly spawn too. If you guys have already gotten your metal detector, these things will still spawn in. Kind of like the dude for a K Perico of getting your key. So you guys can go ahead and get that Perico pistol, the golden one. All right, here we go. Location number six is going to be right up over here in this area. So right around in here, you guys will find him. I'm sure he'll be like in the dirt or something like that. All right, next location. I believe this is number seven. It's gonna be right here in this area. So you guys can fly in here and potentially you will find uh, the metal detector in this location. But once again, if we do not see a little blue circle pop open on our mini map, we're just going to go to the next location, which is going to be located right over here on the beach. So this is location number eight. And it's going to be right around in here, like near the rocks, I think. And it's a lot easier to see it too when you're in the daytime but once again you will see a little blue circle pop open on your mini map which is the indication to let you know that you have found the location in which the metal detector is located all right you guys location number nine right here so somewhere around in this area there's another location in which you can find the metal detector All right, so let's head to the next location, which is going to be the last location. Location number 10, which is going to be located right around in here, which you guys can see there is a gang war or a gang attack about to happen. So it's going to be located right around in this uh, area. So once again, if you guys see that little blue circle, then you know that you have found the skeleton and right next to the skeleton is going to be your metal detector. Just pick the metal detector up. And then at that time, what we're going to go ahead and do is head to our Kusatka. So once we're at our Kusatka, what we're going to go ahead and do is scope K Perico. So if you guys have already scoped this and you're like ready to do the heist or maybe you haven't before, uh, you can definitely go here and while scoping it, we have the ability of making some extra money, which is always cool, especially when we're actually setting up a heist. We can get our money back 
for paying for the actual heist itself, which is, I think, $25,000. So when you guys get to Cape Rico, you can just pop open your map. The locations are up there near the airport there and right next to it. But when you guys come here every single day, there's going to be two locations. The locations are going to be different every single day. And every single day, you guys can come here and you can go ahead and dig up two of these, uh, basically, stashes or their buried treasures that we can go ahead and collect some extra money and some RP. So when we get to the circle, go ahead and press L2 or L2. Key, I believe if you guys are on Xbox and that will go ahead and pop open your metal detector in my opinion It kind of looks like uh, something from the Ghostbusters, you know So anyways from here guys all you're gonna be doing is listening for the beeping to get dramatically like spread uh, sporadic so here we go. Here's the location. Once you guys do find the location, it will pop open on your mini map. And then at that time, all you guys have to do is just simply press right on the D pad to go ahead and dig up the hidden treasure or the hidden stashes here. So here we go. Let's see how much we end up getting. I think if we end up getting like 15,000. So I believe it's 15,000 and then a little chunk of RP. I'm not exactly sure how much RP, but I know each stash will give you 15,000. So let's go to the next one real quick. Super easy to find. So if you guys were just going to go do this and just mess around in Cape Rico or something like that for scoping, uh, in my opinion, definitely worth it because once again, you paid for Cape Rico, like, you know, to go ahead and do the heist, which is $25,000. And then just by doing this right here, you get all of your money back plus $5,000 for coming to the island and just basically, you know, doing this was super easy. So anyways, from there, guys, if the video was helpful in any way whatsoever and you guys were able to find your metal detector, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. So anyways, from there, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Gravesite, and I will see you in the next one. So peace.